Naturalist Tony here. You know, despite the temperatures, winter could be a great time to get out and enjoy nature. It's a whole different world out here in the winter time. And in fact, this tree, it's covered with holes, tiny holes. I wonder what could have done this. It looks like this is a job for the nature detective. So what made the holes on this tree? Well, to begin our investigation, first let's examine the evidence. Hmm, a close look shows that these holes are small and circular. And if we examine where these holes are, we can see they wrap all the way around the tree itself, each hole in a neat row. And they seem to extend all the way up the trunk of the tree. Now, I think we can eliminate a few things. First off, mammal. It's highly unlikely this was a mammal. Most mammals can't make holes like that. Not without a drill anyway. Hmm. Maybe an insect. Yeah. Well, an insect could make holes like that in a tree and some of them do, but I don't know why they'd need to make that many holes. No, I think it's something else. What about a bird? There are a lot of birds that peck into the side of the trees. Wait, that's it. A woodpecker. I bet this was a woodpecker. Ah, but now the question becomes which one? There are seven woodpecker species found in Ohio, but we can eliminate a couple right off the bat, like the pileated woodpecker. These crow-sized woodpeckers make these huge rectangular holes in the side of the trees, and they make those holes to get at carpenter ant colonies. And they wouldn't make holes this small. And we could eliminate the red-headed woodpecker. They typically like dead trees close to water, like at Veterans Park in Menor or Pete's Pond in Wycliffe, not here at Penitentiary Glen. And I think we can also eliminate the northern flicker. While there are still a few flickers around this time of year, they only really peck at trees to create hollows to nest in. And when it comes to foraging, they usually do that on the ground where they flick their long sticky tongues into holes to nab ants, hence their name. That leaves us with four suspects. Downy and hairy woodpeckers look a lot alike and also have very similar habits. They do forage by drilling into trees, but it's mostly to get at insects or to hide seeds in the bark crevices for later. Neither of those activities would create the holes that we found on that tree. Red-bellied woodpeckers are pretty common and they do forage in the trees for insects as well, though they eat a decent amount of fruit in the winter time. But their holes don't match these either. Now, the culprit here is after something in the tree itself. All this sleuthing, sure building up an appetite. I could really go for some pancakes with maple syrup. That's it. I think I know who did this. Let's see here. Yes, just as I suspected. These holes, they're in a tulip tree. And you know the thing about tulip trees? They actually make a lot of sap. These little tiny holes, these weren't made to get at insects. They're made to get at the sap of the trees. They're sap wells. And the only woodpecker in Ohio that specializes in drinking sap like this is the yellow-bellied sapsucker. The yellow-bellied sapsucker has a special, almost brush-like tongue that enables them to easily lap up their syrupy lunches. Well, another case closed, thanks to the Nature Detective. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, let us know. Check us out on social media. Visit lakemetroparks.com for further information, news, and other updates. Don't forget to get out there and explore your Lake Metro Parks. I've been Naturalist Tony. I'll see you next time.